Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. My name is Andre Salzar. Welcome to the Art of Comics. Irishimus A. I'm here with my good buddy, Kevin O'Harris. I have something here, Kevin. I don't know if you've seen this. Kevin, you got me into Ambush Bug. This is how I learned about Ambush Bug. And at the time, I wasn't mature enough <laughs> to appreciate. To be silly. To be silly. Because I was into, you know, Dungeons and Dragons and seriousness. And you were mm -hmm. like, dude, there's this other guy named Keith Giffen who's brilliant, legend. who's doing all this stuff. A legend, R.I.P., rest in peace. I don't like rest in power when they say that. But that's just, me that. Yeah, let's move on. Can we just say rest in peace? No. Um, and so I... And now, as I'm older, a huge, epic fan of freaking Ambush Bug. And this is a collection of every Ambush Bug appearance, at least the first 20 or so. The new stuff, I don't got into that. But anyway, we start off with Action Comics, Ambush Bug. That's the one where he's actually pretty serious, right? Or no, is that DC Comics Presents where he's pretty that, serious? That DC Comics is where he's serious. This is Keith Giffen's. Yeah, this is the one I think. This is Keith Giffen's take. I know people are talking about like the Jose Munoz art style and he kind of cribbed it. I don't care. That doesn't bother me at all. But let's just talk about how brilliant freaking Ambush Bug is. Is he the first character that like broke the fourth wall that kind of like basically said, hey guys, this is a comic? Well, I'm not an authority on that stuff. I, I, you ask me questions, I just I, mm. I just don't know that I can answer. But yeah. what I can tell you is just anecdotally how I discovered him. Yeah. And that's just picking up an issue of it. It was um, very similar to, you remember What The? Oh, I love What The's. Yeah. I love What The's, dude. Yeah, it was like, it was like... Yeah. It, it it kind of it's kind of very similar to like in WWE when they did Southpaw regional yes. wrestling. It's yes. like it's a love story to the thing that they're yeah. all in love with. Yeah. You know. Yeah. This is a love story to comics. Yeah. And unfortunately, I mean, there are humor comics now, but it's like super rare, right? Yeah. Did you ever read Quantum and Woody? No. Oh gosh, I'm going to have to just buy those for you and send them to you. Quantum and Woody literally is Night Stalker and Doppelganger. That's it's cool. a comedic duo and it's free. it is that. It is it is that. It was oh, it's amazing. I'll put you look for it. Um I love the art. This is so for me at the time I think this is very different. You did not see 12 panel like this. You did not see this kind of artwork in the states this is totally like european style stuff that i feel like keith keith giffen i feel is always trying new, he was always trying new stuff he was always kind of like pushing himself maybe that's because of his own like interest and like keep himself excited with the medium but i love what he was doing here and here we go here's the one that's signed ambush bug part one i met him he is a curmudgeon in real life he was kind of cranky. Now, did he sign that in That's that a, book, or did yeah. he sign that? No, book? it was single, single. So I got this bound up uh, years later after I got this. But so these are not reprints; these are actual comics. These are the actual original issues. Yeah. yeah tell me about did it. I? Okay. Well, I went and I, <laughs> I collected the comics, decided what I wanted to be bound. Went to this guy who was in who was in Omaha, Nebraska. Who has a, a bindery and uh, they bind like magazines like old life magazines and Saturday Evening Post that kind of stuff um, and he just started kind of doing comics and I found him on some weird message board I don't, I don't even know like somehow you find weird shit and some you get into it and next thing I know I'm like in all these boards and his name's David David Banks he's bought he was like backer of my Kickstarters he's a sweet guy anyway David Banks uh, said, yeah, let's do this. And so these are, these, his stuff was expensive. This is 60 bucks. That's not expensive. That's a, that's a, well, that's a, that's a, yeah, for that. yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I think so. 
Uh, and it's buckram. Uh, I mean, this is it's a very nice, nicely done. Yeah, that's book. that's this is that real. looks like something that DC yeah. would have been proud to publish. Yeah, dude, it's badass. So, so sixty bucks plus the issues. For me, I always like did stuff that I had. I didn't have to go like hunt issues. Basically, I just didn't want to have long boxes, and I didn't want to have to deal with freaking floppies. So I said, you know what? All my favorite stuff, I'm gonna bind. All the Justice League, Sandman. Ambush Bug, some X Men, like the stuff that I really love that I would want to like keep or share, because I'm not gonna sell them. Here's the deal: I'm not gonna sell these. No. You're not. You're never gonna make money, so there's no money in it. No. So there's no point in selling it. And I'm a reader. I want to reread these. I read these. I don't do it for any other reason. I'm a lover of the, the medium. Mm -hmm. So, dude, I had to do it. And this one is a combo because I love amp I love. Uh, Lobo, so this has like ambush bug in the front, Lobo in the back, kind of Keith Giffen, Keith Giffen esque stuff. So, um, but yeah. So let me ask you this: How do you how how old are these now? How are the paper holding up? I think it looks beautiful. These are what eighty six. What are these? Eighty five. Look at I mean, you know you don't want to do really shitty copies, but these they cut them nice. They cut them on the edge. You know they, I think they hold up really good. They're not yellowy. Some might, some are a little bit older. Like this one might be a little yellower, but you can kind of, they look good. Uh, they won't hold up as good as if they're slabbed or maybe box and boarded in some place, but you know, this is all about air, you know, and moisture, things like that will damage the paper, but I think they look pretty darn good for. So, like, you if, know, if we were sitting at Pawn years. Stars right now or a comic book shop or what was that? Com the Kevin Smith show where they oh, had the gosh. comic book. And you were and you were putting this on the counter. What would you like value that at? Well, the thing is, is like you can't because you ruin the you ruin the value of the comics by doing this. Mm -hmm. So the comic the comics the measurement of grading comics is destroyed. This destroys that. So this would be like an oddity. The, the, the price would be dependent upon some individual collector who would want the oddity of this. Um, I wouldn't sell this for anything under 300 bucks, but I don't know, some maybe people would pay way, way more. I, have yeah, I was gonna say $300, I, I don't know. You'd have to be pretty desperate for $300 to sell that for $300 because it's one of a kind. You yeah, it's it a one. I, yeah, well, that's yeah, what I'm getting at. One that's what I'm trying to get at yeah. with this. Is this is the kind of thing that you don't do for something to sell. This is something you do for yourself. Yeah. So, what we're going to do now is we're going to put the phone number on the screen. <laughs> We've got 600 of these available. We got now, <laughs> these are these are unique. We have sourced these comics from around the world. <laughs> eBay, eBay, KBay, Craigslist, thrift stores, and swap meets. Yes. In the San Joaquin Valley. Well, hang on, hang on. The producers are talking to me in my head. <laughs> You're kidding. You're kidding. What happened? What's They're happened? doing a combo pack. What? You can get the Lobo, the Ambush Bug, and the Justice League Europe. This is Europe, not America. Europe. <laughs> With a certificate of authenticity. <laughs> oh, Lord. Um, can we just talk about Joni DC? And, sure, and the koala. Joni DC and, and, and the, the way they the stole her for Loki. What? Miss Minutes is a total ripoff. Of really? DC. Look at Miss Minutes. I don't, really? Yes. I, I never saw Loki, so I don't know. Well, you're missing out because Loki is. is I, the, I've heard that's actually Loki a good one. Loki is one of the better ones. Incredible. Season two yeah. kind of sucked, but season one was incredible. Incredible. Okay. Um, I'll watch you, it. You would you would really love Loki. Yeah. Um, it made a superhero out of Loki. It really did. Yeah. What about? Uh, Koala who walked Quantus. The, the, that's Quantus, how I got it. Koala. That's Koala's actually like show that splash page because yeah, yeah. that's the that's how I got it. I could have bought that and I didn't. What? That splash page. 
You could have bought that page for how yeah, much? I don't. I'll punch like, you in like, the head if it's like a hundred, like hundred fifty bucks. Yeah, like, yeah, 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 I yeah, should it, punch you in the head. I know, dude. There it is. <laughs> <laughs> no, because at the time, back in like the two thousand and five or so, I was like looking for originals of of mm-hmm. his stuff, and he had a bunch of it. And I didn't. I was broke. I was married to Alana. We were in freaking the valley. I had no money to buy damn hundred dollar page, hundred pages. Of, anyway. Dark Side. He always did a gag on Dark Side and Archie Goodwin. Archie Goodwin was the uh, editor in chief, I think, at the time, right? It wasn't Archie. Or, it was um, Archie Goodwin. No, you're, you're. Am I getting mixed up? You, you are, and damn it, the, the, uh, the buck tooth. No, no, this, this was, guy. E. Nelson. This Birdwell. guy. Is that it? No, this that's guy? not him. That's Keith. I think that's no, no, Keith. No, this is not Keith. That's not Keith. No. Uh, Who's the editor? Just find the editor. Just okay, find the okay. editor. It, it'll tell you right there. I thought that was Archie Goodwin was the... No, that's these, that's Marvel, isn't it? No. Here we go. Uh, Julie, Julie Swartz! Swartz. <laughs> Who's Archie Goodwin? Archie Goodwin was somebody else. He's Marvel. Julia Swartz. So, Archie M almost 100% yes. is Marvel. I'm gonna okay. Gonna... Okay. Julie Swartz. Archie Goodwin. Who is Archie, Archie Goodwin? Goodwin. Okay. But like, but <laughs> yeah. He created Rex Stout. Oh, I don't even know. The... Oh, Archie Goodwin is a fictional character. Oh no, oh, Archie no, Goodwin. Oh, that was an editor. The, the American comic book writer. Okay. Died in 1998. Okay. Had an epic mustache. Okay. Here we go. Let's get a picture of Archie Goodwin there That's for Archie you. Archie Goodwin. Okay. <laughs> Brought to you by iPhone. Um. So. Qantas. The koala who walks like a man. Where do you come up with this kind of like idea? I don't oh, here's know. a villain. It's I don't even understand. Like, is it? I don't even know what it's parroting. It must be parroting something. It's that parroting I'm like camo. Something. It's parroting. That, uh, I mean, Godzilla. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah, yeah. Like like a yeah. kaiju yeah. Japanese it's monster. A, it's a kaiju. It's a, it's a ridiculous. <laughs> and this is how you know the story of it is this. To show this is you, Joni. This is Joni. Yeah. <laughs> That's the origin of Joni. Jackson. Yeah. Leaping lizards. Knick knack. Okay, so and then, <laughs> my very first Joni, internet handle. The continuity cop. My very first internet handle, 1990, 1991, whenever that was, when we were in a mud multi user dungeon. Oh, gosh. My first username was Qantas. Because I, because of the koala who walks like a man. Dude. I love it. I love it so much. And that was the first comic I uh, That was the first issue I picked up. This one? Yes. Yeah. I saw him laughing on the cover. Yeah. And I, I just was like, oh, yeah, I, I got to see what yeah, this dude. is. Because it's just like, yeah. Look at that cover. I mean, it's a great freaking cover, dude. It's great. I love also point out always dark side early early blah ha ha there's no w in there but that's an early blah ha ha because mm. remember the blah ha ha became the yeah. the symbol of the justice league why would they what i'm thinking he always made fun of dark side because that was the big arc he did with the legion of superheroes with uh the great darkness saga did you read those he did with paul levitz paul One levitz time, I need to read <clears throat> they're good yeah Paul Levitz I've and Keith been, Giffen. I've always been dry on Legion, but yeah. I haven't read Giffen's Legion, so that's well, a different thing. Maybe you might go home with it. Yeah, we'll <laughs> You're like, I don't want to read it. You have an audiobook of it? I'll, <laughs> I'll listen to the audiobook of the comic. Don't Get Mick to read it to me. Um, and then, so, this was so popular. This is what's weird, because I don't think this would work today, but this was popular enough, this four-part series, they did... A single, Stocking mm-hmm. Stuffer, and that was popular enough that they did a six-part miniseries. Yep. Some I mean, so looking. they were like, it was moving. Now, I don't know if they got other people to work. I mean, if there was talks of after this, but this kind of died up. Uh, the Fleming, Robert Fleming, Laura Fleming, weren't they like these art, the writers that helped write this? Because Keith Giffen was not ever a, a good um, and then there's the dialogist. Special, of course. Yes, the nothing special, but... The other, we should mention the writers. That's a great. Fleming, yeah. Fleming, right? Yeah. 
Giffen? I, I he's more of an idea. Yeah, Robert. Yeah, Robert Fulman. Is he just the scripter? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. He, he, he does the plots, the script, the idea, but then the actual dialogue is Robert. He, yeah. he kind of does the jokes. Yeah. Um, yeah, dude. I mean, you can so obviously see, like, this page right here. This is him. This is a love story to Marvel more than DC even because of all the names, the, mm -hmm. the you know, the Jasper John Costanza and, mm -hmm. and the, the different ways, you know, Jumpin' Joseph Oldie and different mm -hmm. things that yeah. Stan would put in. Yeah, for sure. Love it. I love the nine panel grid. I love the way he did the art. I'm a huge fan of this art, dude. Yeah, you you uh, appreciate like the that. art on a level I yeah. don't. I appreciate the comedy. I don't. I'm not I, an, yeah. enough of an art person to. Yeah, I dig it, and I love this stuff when he goes into like cartoon, you know, like ch children drawing and then breaking the edges of his yeah, yeah. of the panel stuff. Yeah, it's it's very good. It's just yeah, he was the real deal. So there you go, ambush bug, Keith Giffen. Love it, just love it so much. Got Doom Patrol up in this. Were you a Doom Patrol guy? No. Oh, I need to. That's, 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 that's another. Good, that's good too. Doom Patrol is the real deal. Okay, thanks for watching, everybody. Peace out.